Hey guys, I'm Mike from Mad Cat Productions. In this series, I'd like to go over 51 exercises that you should practice in order to become awesome animators. Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, so today we're going to be going over thinking, which is really uh, a lot more difficult than you would think. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in here. Alright, so usually uh, usually with a character thinking, um, the eyes... The eyes are going to kind of point up and to the left, and the mouth is going to go up, uh, kind of scrunch up a little bit. Um, you know, the eyes are going to kind of dart up to the corner, and uh, maybe raise an eyebrow. And also, anytime uh, touching the face is really good to demonstrate thinking. So, you know, kind of like that. Alright, so let's get a new frame here. And just draw a simple character. There we go, that'll do. Couple of eyes. A little bit of lag going on here. Alright. And a mouth. So. Go ahead and give him an ear here. There we go. Maybe a couple of strands of hair. And a body. So go forward a few frames here and just add in a new keyframe. Uh, turn our onion skins on. Alright. And we're going to have him kind of lean, you know, lean his head up. He was looking down and he leans up and starts to think about whatever he's thinking about. And, uh, now you could do all the things at once. You could, uh, go ahead and make him touch his face, make him look up, raise an eyebrow, scrunch his mouth up. You could do all that and, you know, at once, but it, it'll look a little more... I guess interesting if you do everything as uh you know kind of one at a time one thing leads into the other so we'll go ahead and pretty much trace that whole that whole image Sorry for the line quality here. My computer is lagging a lot when I'm recording right now. I need to shut down my web browser or something. There we go. Go ahead and make them look up here. Get the eyebrows and the ear. There 
There we go. Let's go forward a few more frames and get a new keyframe. And here we're gonna just trace over the image one more time. Now you could of course uh just animate the things that you want to move, but I've always kind of liked the the look of having the whole thing redrawn every frame. The animation look. But, you know, you can do whatever whatever you want to with your animation. And a lot of times, just to save time, I will just animate the key points that need to move, but... So we'll go ahead and move the mouth up here. Yeah, the other side there. That looks good. Alright, move forward and do another frame. Go ahead and have him put his finger on his chin here. I can get this eye right. Nope. There we go. And keep the mouth and the nose how they were. And the eyebrows. We'll raise that eyebrow very last. There we go. Alright. A few more frames forward. And leap. And... Trace over the whole image here and just raise that eyebrow up. There we go. That eyebrow raised. And just trace over the nose and the mouth. Alright. See how that looks. Not bad. Alright. Now I just gotta go in and do some in-betweens and I'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and just time lapse this because you can do the in-betweens yourself. You don't need guidance for that. So uh we'll we'll just stop right here and time lapse it so that this video doesn't have to be 30 minutes long. Alright, I'll be right back.
well there we go got a character thinking moving pretty smoothly you could add a few more in-betweens if you wanted but that'll do for us um well thanks for watching uh this uh this episode's probably a little bit late but next one will hopefully be on time next week thanks Thank you.